one and only great Esteban Torres has been an inspiration and it has been an honor to get to work with him. When we created the first school in over 80 years in East Los Angeles, the name Esteban Torres has been a symbol in so many ways of the possibilities uh, for a kid like me and for the kids in our school district. He comes from very, very uh, humble uh, beginnings in, in uh, Arizona. His father was uh, deported to Mexico when Esteban was uh, three years old. And in spite of, in spite of all those hardships, uh, with a large family raised by his mother, Esteban was very much a self-made man who served in, in the military, got a job in the auto assembly uh, plant here locally, I believe in Southgate, became very active involved in the unions, and is also um, a very good artist and sculptor. So how do I know Esteban? Uh, well, I, I certainly knew him before I ever met him. Uh, he's a legendary figure among the generation uh, coming out of the 40s that really pushed to get political representation and to be able to serve their community uh, through local, state, and federal government. Esteban really pushed for Latino representation both in front of and behind the camera. And he did serve in the Carter administration, uh, first as the uh, ambassador to UNESCO, uh, where he was based in Paris, and uh, later as a special assistant to President Carter. Uh, directly in the White House. And of course, Esteban went on to serve, uh, I believe, until 1999 in Congress. I got to see firsthand what a statesman he was, what a diplomat he was, how well he worked with people, how he was able to look at situations and look at issues, analyze them, and uh, bring people together to, uh, to address them. He comes out of labor organizing, and I think labor organizing is a core skill that can really serve any effort aimed at social justice. He's truly a wonderful, thoughtful, and, and highly informed person about the world. When you meet with Esteban, you meet a man with tremendous integrity, a man who is deeply engaged in and committed to the world, and a man who knows exactly where he comes from and who he is and you have a wonderful dialogue with him. And at the end of that, you realize you've agreed to do something. <laughs> and that in doing that something, it will help things get better. A couple of things really stood out to me that resonate with our institute and our centers. Um, the first was your art. And the second area is your commitment to social justice. Congressman Torres, congratulations. So on behalf of, of all of us at La Plaza, and we want to wish him all the best and congratulate him on this very important work. Congratulations Esteban on the, receiving the UCLA medal. Uh, it's a well-deserved recognition uh, for a life dedicated to public service. And at the same time, UCLA is better uh, for having you on our list of UCLA medal recipients and for being the stewards of your legacy through the papers you have established here. Thank you. I will just say thank you, Congressman Torres, for leading and loving and believing in so many of us that have benefited from your life's work.